I'm in Edinburgh because tomorrow night I return to the stage. So my friends Gordon Smart and Martin Compton do a podcast called Restless Natives and they've got a live show in Edinburgh tomorrow night and Gordon's asked me to come up, do a bit of filming stuff with them, hang out and be part of the show. I don't really know what I'm doing but I knew he said he'd pick me up because I went near Edinburgh Airport. Just going to try and find him. Here he is! How's your back? My back, my back. We're suffering, let's have a hike. Robbie. Robbie. Oh, so much for coming up. Electric it's car. A, it's a hybrid Robbie. I've signed Sue Alan Parges here. <laughs> oh, I've, I've little just, button. That I've, was good, wasn't it? I've just plugged into Glen Meyer, which sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? I love it. Charge confirmed. Just been recording uh, Gordon Martin's podcast, Restless Natives, in... Where are we? We're in Leith. Leith. We're just Leith. underneath Eastern Road. See at the end of the street there? Yeah. That's the Villa's triumph the other night. That's under the some <laughs> shitty team. <laughs> That's the in Scotland. We were the first to wear the green. That's Leith San Siro. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. Theatre of dreams. <laughs> That's for you, Gordon. It's not a bad view, isn't it? We're sitting on top of Glen Eagles Townhouse in Edinburgh, St Andrews Square. Looking down that way, Robbie, it's uh, George Square, George Street, sorry, Princess Street, Queen Street, all running parallel. And then across in that direction, you would see Edinburgh Castle if it wasn't for that stone or marble willy um, that's on the front of that statue. We have to work in. Yeah, we're finishing off the script for Robbie Knox's debut tomorrow, 8 p.m. Restless Nets. The end of Restless Nets. <laughs> <laughs> the final overreach. Oh. Overreach the final edition. See you off, Martin. See you later, brother. Right, see, see you later. See, see you tomorrow. See you later. I'll cook him a piece of me, Martin. <laughs> Have a pineapple. I just want a lift, Robbie. What is this lift? Well, we're in Jurassic Park. Are all lifts like this in Edinburgh? No. Quite complicated turning off electric charging, isn't it? And it does fuck it up if you take it out without this, without properly. What do you do? Do you get electric shock? No, no, no. How much, how much uh, charge do you get, Gordon? Well, after uh, the ten minutes getting all set up and then discharging there when you arrived, zero miles. Has it gone wrong? It's gone wrong, Robbie. Zero miles. Electric cars are the future. It's the future. It's the future. Just as well we've got some petrol in this electric car. Isn't it? <laughs> to get us home. August has been a month of excess as you can see in this video. However, we're getting back onto healthy habits, back on track, thanks to our video sponsor, HelloFresh. I've been traveling a lot recently for work and pleasure and that's where HelloFresh comes in really useful. I can get on the app, I can choose the day, I want it to arrive as soon as I get back and I know I'm not gonna have to faff of going to the shops, I'm just gonna have a box, lovely food and ingredients that I can create delicious meals from. HelloFresh gives you everything you need to create delicious, nutritious meals at home. You get a recipe card for every one of the meals that you're going to get, all the ingredients in the box, and it ends up looking delicious like this. Ooh. For me though, the most important thing about HelloFresh, particularly as we get back to going back to school, is that the kids will eat it without faff. And I don't like faff. So you want to try HelloFresh but want to save a little bit of money? Don't worry, Robbie's got you covered. <laughs> With this QR code, you're going to get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. What a deal! Don't worry if you're not from the future like me and you can't use QR codes, just click the link down in the description. Use HFNOT60 as your code and you're going to get your offer that way. Now, let's get back to the fringe. It's Saturday, show day. Stayed last night at Gordon's house. We're going for a walk Good morning, Robbie. with this slightly, uh, I'm not, I'm, that's viewers, not me. All right. Say hello oh, to Good the morning, Robbie. Good morning, viewers. <laughs> All right, good. Still waking up, Robbie. <laughs> so we get up for a, uh, a walk in the, the, the lovely Scottish country. Where are we, Gordon, without wanting to dox you completely? We're about right. in the country, are we? We're on the foot of the Oakle Hills, um, just above Loch Leven in Perthshire. How are you just feeling about the show? I'm really good about it today, actually. We managed to not to drink, well, I managed not to drink last night. Robbie had a couple. I had a couple in the yeah, afternoon. A couple in the afternoon, yeah. yeah. I feel good about it. I'm nervous, but it's a good nervous. Yeah. Um, we've got everything organised. Just got to make sure my voice doesn't disappear, and then I'll be all right. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Home. Are we at the top, Gordon? Very nearly, yeah. That's the trig point there, the Ordnance Survey trig point. What's a trig point? A trig point is a mark that denotes the top of our hill. 
Okay. So if you get to the top of Munro, or one of these little hills around here, you'll find a little stone yeah. geograph uh, geographical point like that. Yeah. So Robbie, how are you settling back in Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not bad, pal. Not bad, yeah. There we go. Didn't have any haggis, um, but bacon, national flag. Happy to be back. Kate working away, chef. Delighted to be on camera. <laughs> A happy man. Very happy. In Scotland. Need energy for the show. A little transport vehicle. Waters. Very nice. We're here, Gordon. We're here, we're here, we're here. Right, uh, Robbie, I'm afraid you're going to have to work as a roadie now because we've got all loads of shit to carry out into the venue. Little hunk alert. There he <laughs> is. Hey, oh, hey. What a surprise. How's it going? You all right? Hi, kid. Didn't know you'd have a show, so that was just us. Well, I'm a bit of a whore. <laughs> Well, I knew that. <laughs> it's funny being here because we just have many different venues, like 30 venues on the Happy Hour Tour. I can't really remember what each one's like. I remember bits of, I sort of think we were in that room, but it just, a bit, everything just feels a bit different. Time, I guess, isn't it? You forget stuff. He's here! I used to be on a hit TV show, now I'm carrying my props, <laughs> delivering water. Remember that? <laughs> Prepare to be soaked in Starburst. We're just making magic, baby. It's time to go. Phil comes then. It's like Indiana Jones, isn't it? <laughs> Just before the boulder yeah. comes. <laughs> <laughs> How's your policy on break end drinking, Martin? You know what? I, I got great advice from Robbie Knox uh, before our first show. Um, um, I just had one, but um, feeling a little under the weather today, so uh, this is my uh, this is this is actual doctor prescribed. This is straight out of the the Central America. School of Medicine, uh, Corona Extra. This will see you through the day. Mr. Smart. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm thinking about offering you the England job. A way of the cuff. Boys are doing a bit of a sound check. I'm helping out by filming a little bit of documentary stuff for them while I'm up here and doing a little bit on stage. Tell me I've got a dance though, which Gordon didn't really mention on the phone, but we'll part with it, just have a couple of drinks first and it's uh, it'll be obviously fine, but it's nice to see loads of familiar faces around. We're getting a theatre fact from this man later. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'll have to think of something. I yeah. know. <laughs> John the tour manager's back. Hey. Back on the vlog. There he is. Cax Sparrow. There he is in action. Short John Silver. What a hero. <laughs> Half time in the show, how's it going? Alright, loving life. Nice isn't it? Good show, good yeah. fun, good stories. You enjoying it? I'm having a lovely time. Thank you very much. This is my Jack Nicholson cycle. Dish. No, he's not even in cycle, is it? It's fucking. The other one. But I'm going to combine all of them and go off my fucking nut. I love everybody. <laughs> half time at the Restless Native show, and I am on in the second half. I want me to dance, I'm just going to neck like loads of wine. John trying to pick up his part. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. It's my bit now. I'll let you know how it goes. That's done, thankfully. Bit of dancing, didn't have any moves. Didn't expect to have to do that. Good though. Show's all done. Uh, went well, everyone seems happy. Crowd were very into it. Really good. Gonna um, pack up my other filming kit because I've been making a little mini little documentary for the guys. And I might go and try and check in the hotel, then go back out or carry my bags with me. I'm not sure. I've not worked this out. You're gonna find out. So I'm taking you with me. Come on. Ha -ha! 
John, a joy as always. As ever. To utter love. chaos. Um, theatre fact. Oh, uh, yeah. Always try to rehearse because otherwise it's a complete shit show. Brilliant, but a shit show. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember in particular? <laughs> the restless natives. This man, the wolf, appeared, obviously. It's Robbie Knox. It's got to go, man. I miss you too. Don't be a stranger. You can up to pay. Guys, thank you. We're going to the uh, right there. You got an early, yeah, early yeah, travel home? No, oh, sad scenes. Oh. Can we see you soon? I hope so. Bye. Bye. Nee, 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 nee. Oh, God, the fuck is that? Party taxi. Risky. Yeah, I'm going to get it now. I'm fucking finished with this show. I've been carrying it for two fucking months. I'm awesome. Hi, everybody. Richard, I shan't be returning. No, I shan't be returning to this show. You know what I mean? I have no time to prepare. No, no. Yeah, that's it. Who's this guy? Oh, oh, Who's this guy? My favourite guy in the world. That's a Robbie. huge claim. Huge claim. Fucking Knox, the tramp who has done documented this whole thing. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a camera occasionally in between. I told some really bad stories about <laughs> Overhampton with pregnant woman and Jim Bone. <laughs>